Good afternoon, everyone. It's Father Saad here at St. Joseph's. Uh, it's so great to be with you. Um, it's very unusual for Catholics to be at early at Mass early, but uh, now that we are, uh, it's an awesome time to prepare for Mass, but also to add your intentions for this Mass in the comments section. And when you do, we will bring it, the priest will bring it to the altar with us and add your prayers to ours so that we may lift them up to our Heavenly Father. So we're so glad to be with you here today and to pray with you, to sing with you, and know of our prayers for you at the altar. We will do this before every Mass, five minutes before every Mass. God bless you.
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. It's one of the only days it isn't raining down today, so it's wonderful to be with you here this afternoon here at St. Joseph's. And on this Good Shepherd Sunday, where Jesus says in the Gospel that all of us hear his voice and follow him. And we will follow him at this altar to receive eternal life spiritually through the reception of Holy Communion, which we will do here in this church, but also where you will do at home. So we will follow his word. We will follow his voice. But before we can, brothers and sisters, before we can walk with him to eternal life, even here on this earth, first we must acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to enter into those sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Israel know for certain 
that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. He did not threaten, 
Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So Jesus again said, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief com comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Are you familiar with baby cows, calves they call them? Uh, you think, uh, Father, what are you going to tell us about baby cows? Calves, sorry. Well, I grew up in Columbia, Pennsylvania. Not really a farming community and I worked in a junkyard so I know very little about calves maybe you do too but as I was preparing for the seminary they placed us on a farm and this summer the summer that I'm talking about there were six of us who were preparing to be priests who were placed on a farm the whole thing could have been comical I uh, remember that show the simple life with uh, two heiresses, I think, they placed them on a farm. This could have been the seminarians on the farm. But we were taking care of this uh, dairy farm, fruit farm, and we had to switch the pens. They're not pens, they were acres of land in which the calves and the cows were grazing every other day. And so we had to move the fence. And you also had to move the, the cows, which is not easy. So we were doing this, and we discovered that after we moved the fence, there was a calf missing. And, you know, you got to make sure the calf is in, or else it's in great danger. It had just been born the day before. But did you know this about calves? That as soon as they're born, within minutes they stand, and then minutes after that, they walk and then run. Like, it's unbelievable. Can you imagine a child getting up and just, like, running after it's born? kind of funny. I didn't expect that. 
So here's this, we found the calf laying. And you know, I approach it gingerly. I, what am I gonna do, pick it up? I didn't know what to do with it. I thought it was laying, couldn't move. It springs up and darts. It shocked me. So I go running after it. And I'm not slow. I'm not as fast as Father Rosman or Deacon Peruso. And Deacon, by the way, is doing very well. He's at home quarantining, but he sends his love to you. And he's in, you're in his prayers. But I went running after this thing, and uh, I made a turn. And just before I did, I noticed that I stepped in a pile of something. And I slid and fell in a pile of something, too, in my face. That's how it goes. I read thought of that story today because as I juxtaposed that image of a bounding calf who runs all over the place and tries to elude capture, we have the sheep. The sheep who follow the voice of the shepherd, the one who tries to corral them. And I do not relate at all. Do you? Jesus says, listen to this, the sheep follow him. They do not listen to the voices of the others who try to lead them. They listen to me. That's what Jesus says. Well, I like to think I'm a sheep, but I don't always listen to Jesus. I go right after, you know the thieves come in? I go right and walk with them sometimes. Do you? I don't know. I'm like an animal, like a dog, that if you threw a chip on the ground and you threw a piece of lettuce on the ground, even a dog would know, even Coco, would know that, go right for the chip. The lettuce has no flavor. It's better for you, but the chip tastes so much better. And that's how I feel when I think about the sheep following Jesus or following the thieves and robbers. I want to follow Jesus, and I know I hear his voice, but why do I follow the thieves and robbers? They don't know the way I need to go. They know what will satisfy me for the minute. They know that will make me satisfy my hunger for whatever it is that I want at that minute. But do they know where I need to go? They have no clue. Jesus knows the pasture for which those sheep need to go to. Those thieves and robbers know nothing. They guess. This, they satisfy momentary pleasures or desires. But, that, but I go with them a lot. Do you? The good shepherd. He knows the way. And yet I don't follow him. Brothers and sisters, the teaching of the church through the centuries has tried to allow, to tell us, what is that path to follow the good shepherd? I don't know about you, some I have a hard time following, some my desires run counter what the church teaches, some maybe I don't agree with and have a hard time, and I try to follow them, but they're tough, yet they are the way, and yet I neglect them because I don't want to follow them. I'm not pointing an accusation, I'm pointing the finger at myself. This is how I feel. Maybe you feel that way too. The Good Shepherd wants to lead us to safety, to that pasture where we can have eternal peace and eternal rest. And we just want to find ways to avoid it, even though we know what's good for us. Brothers and sisters, perhaps during this time of pandemic, maybe we have a little bit more time. Now, I know your parents don't have as much time as perhaps maybe you thought you would taking care of your kids, leading in their education, working. Gosh, I can't imagine how difficult life is. But in this time, perhaps if we have a little bit more time, can we ponder some of those areas where maybe we disagree or maybe we have a hard time following the teachings of Jesus? Perhaps in the areas of the preferential option for the poor, the treatment of the poor, Perhaps it's on some of the morality issues that we may have a difficult time with or we disagree with. And there are ways in which we can find answers. 
formed, which our parish sponsors and is available, the directions are available in our bulletin, is a great way of answering questions you may have, or why does the church believe this, when I want to do this. Also, Catholic Answers is a good website that addresses tough issues. Or you can call Father Rosman. No, of course. You can, you can call or email me or Father. We'd be happy to help you understand. It doesn't mean that you're going to automatically turn and follow the Good Shepherd when others are leading us. Believe me, I'm in need of this too. But the Good Shepherd knows the way. Why would we follow the ones who don't know the way, who are only guessing? Brothers and sisters, perhaps this is a time where we can pray for the strength to listen to that voice and to follow it. To learn to follow the Good Shepherd so that we may find those pastures where there is peace and joy and not follow those past not follow those false shepherds who lead us only into suffering and trial praise be jesus christ good shepherd now and forever Now, let us proudly profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through Jesus, the shepherd and guardian of our souls, we offer these requests to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, Lord, receive our prayer. That the Good Shepherd may raise up in the church during this time of pandemic those who will lead with courage and serve with love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders of our country and in the world may work together for the destruction of this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord receive our, our prayer. prayer. Through the intercession of St. Joseph the Worker, whose feast day was Friday, may all of those worried about their jobs or income find peace in this chaotic time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord receive our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are being called by our Good Shepherd may have the courage to follow and an openness to welcome all others who hear his call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. For, all the, for all the sick, especially those suffering from COVID-19, but also those suffering from other illnesses at this time. Also, we remember all prayers offered by viewers of this Mass to the comments on Facebook live stream. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord receive, receive our prayer. prayer. For our beloved departed, especially Elmer Rolla, William Yuknek, Bart Devlin, Father Clarence Olszewski, Marjorie Walsh, Raymond Bolster, Rose Rickasack, Christian Rotman, John Forehand, and the people of the parish, both living and deceased, whom we remember at this Mass today. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son so that we might have life. Please hear our prayers in this time of pandemic so that we may share an abundant life in this world and in the world to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. St. Michael, be our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I'm constantly trying to get the foot out of my mouth, so glad to be doing it here too. 
The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.